stand by the rod of the apostolic. I move you forward, moving to your destiny. The first thing that the prayer that engenders dominion produces is access to the voice of God. If God is not speaking into your life, you'll be in trouble. It is by prayer that divine purposes are born. Honorable when they are divided, but see our church today. Our strength is in our division. Everybody wants to be a, a, an individual giant. We cannot coexist for even a moment. The moment we gather together, you find malice, you find hatred, you find backbiting. And when we are separated, everybody begins to wield the stone, the shield and the, the scepter he thinks he carries. We are most vulnerable when we are separated. That's why the Bible said, behold, how beautiful and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in harmony the reason these people knew these things and it became their culture is because the names they were taught conveyed these things to them as dimensions and so an israeli person will give everything it takes to live in unity because he knows that his seeming advantage as an individual is a disadvantage in the face of the crisis of life so he will rather coexist with somebody share his ability and become even with that person knowing that in that unity there is something greater than his individual ability but in our own case we want to run away and stand alone as individual giants and so when the crisis of life which is territorial comes we become helpless and vulnerable helpless and vulnerable today we have thank god pastor always here we have the leading musical voices from across the world when was the last time they gathered together and said we want to create a sound that will shake africa nobody can think that way everybody would rather have his own individual concert there's an apostolic move rising now everybody is establishing headquarters in different territory and doing his own thing this apostolic move have lasted for over 15 years they have never gathered together and say let's have an apostolic convergence in fact you know that the leading apostles they never meet you will never find them sit somewhere talk together or have fellowship anywhere everybody has crowd and it stands like a cherubim and when he talks he's prophesying over nigeria that prophecy will not come to pass because it is born out of individual ambition the day we are really interested in the body of christ we will put our pride aside and meet ourselves and say i need you as much as you need me this idea of standing as one giant like an Iroko tree and be decreeing that the body of Christ, things will change, is a joke. Younger believers can clap and be excited. Those who understand the kingdom, they know it's a joke. And this is what has happened in the dispensation that is about to round up. And the baton has been handed to our own dispensation. And the same thing is already happening even when we have not yet appeared. Because we don't have the revelation of Jehovah Shammah. That he doesn't dwell with individuals. He dwells with a company. This is why Israel studied the name of God. He taught them how to live their lives. A brother will rather make peace with you than to win the, 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 the battle and be justified while you are di diminished. He will rather hold you up. Oh God. God will open our understanding. God will open our understanding. There's so much to learn. And so the names of God in the Old Testament captured the nature of God. The names of God in the Old Testament captured the abilities of God. And the names of God in the Old Testament communicated the will of God to God's people. And these guys studied it and they were waiting for the coming of the Messiah. Because prophecy captured it that when the Messiah comes, everything ever said about God will appear in him. He is the culmination of of the prophecies of God is the culmination of the nature of God is the culmination of the will of God and is the culmination of all the abilities of God and true to that prophecy Jesus showed up and so when Jesus showed up one of the ways all of the possibilities of God was put in Christ was through the name that was given to him the summation of the name of God is twofold in scriptures number one is as a savior and number two is as a lord as a savior 
he pays the price for the judgment and the evil of humankind so that man can be restored again as a lord he took possession of everything that is man and brought them under the government of god and so when you study jesus the first time the name of jesus was given it was given as savior in matthew chapter 1 verse 21 he said you shall be with a child and you shall call his name jesus for he shall save his people from their sins but that was just one aspect of it it shows the benevolence of god it shows the price that god is willing to pay to save humanity the second aspect